little crazy text of these sometimes, y'all. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my car and today I am going to stroll you around as I drive around Killeen Fort Hood area for those of you who don't know yet Fort Hood is part of the Killeen uh, Temple Texas metropolitan area and Fort Hood is the biggest military installation in the nation so if you are in the military and in a different state right now but is moving to the Fort Hood area I would like to take you with me today so that you will have an insight on what the area looks like if you haven't been here uh, even once so I would want to tour you around to places where I usually go out to hang out to eat to shop it's gonna be your new home like so without further ado let's go ahead and drive so let's go so we are at the WS Young Drive and this is actually a long uh, street and it goes all the way to the other side of Killeen area and also this is a famous street if you have to say WS Young it runs through the Killeen Mall going to the business 190 and also the 190 or the interstate 14 now so now we are going towards downtown and WS Young also runs through downtown. So I would like to go to downtown because there is a Filipino store uh, Sarah's Kitchen that I love to go to all the time and they have authentic Filipino food and I think if you are married to a Filipino or else you have Filipino friends uh, you would love to go visit the area or the place if you are already in Killeen also if you love thrifting there is a place right here at the corner of this WS Young which is called Texas Thrift Store actually we are going to go that way it's coming it's coming up on my right Texas Thrift Store this is my store <laughs> I love to come in here for of course use but uh, still in good condition items I would find them all the time here at Texas thrift store and I absolutely love them of course they are very very inexpensive so this is right here at my right this is Texas thrift store so their items are from 99 cents to maybe a little over ten dollars for the items that are really in good good or still have tags on them so now we are going to go around and let me show you a Filipino store right here to my right as we turn right and then we are heading to the downtown after so now I am just going to show you the Filipino store and it's gonna be after this light so business 190 I come in here for the Filipino store and also the thrift store and also there are some shops on the other side as we look back like some Asian um, restaurants and also cafes so come on light okay so 
So coming up to my left is the Filipino store. So we are going to turn left here so that you will be able to see the area. And ta-da! So this is the Filipino store. As you can see, there's somebody in there. And of course, there's a Philippine graffiti in the wall. And ta-da! Oh, actually, that's the owner. That's Norman. <laughs> But we are not going inside because we are just touring around. So we are going to go back on the road. And ta-da! We are back to Business 190 again. So we are going to the shops that I'm talking about. So right here we are going to turn right. And we are off to the downtown. Right after this light, if you are Catholic and you love to go to church every Sunday, there is a huge church. It's St. Peter, I believe. So you are going to see this church right into my right in about 30 seconds. So coming up to my right. The church. Oh, we are going to the downtown, and I think the Filipino restaurant is still open. So we are going to the Filipino restaurant. It's owned by this lady. Uh, her name is Sarah. So the restaurant is named after her. It's called Sarah's Kitchen. It's downtown Killeen, post office, library, arts, and activity center, and then chamber of commerce on this way. And this is the Filipino store that I'm talking about right at the corner of Gray Street. And I think this is Avenue D. There's another consignment. There's a consignment shop over there. Oh, sneaker consignment shop. And this one... So I think they are open until 7. I could hear some people <laughs> singing. And this is just how the downtown looks. Let's go inside. So they actually have karaoke. So um, let's see. Somebody is singing.
super good, especially during this time of summer. Oh, there's my lumpia. <laughs> I changed my position because the lighting is very good here. So here comes my lumpia. Oh, that's awesome. Where are my spring rolls? So eight pieces for four dollars, and this one is six bucks, I should say, because it's thirteen dollars total with no taxes. But let's go ahead and try this one because this is very crispy. Wow, our halo halo is so good. So we are now at the Fort Hood Street and this is actually the last uh, street right at the Killeen area before the gate to the Fort Hood um, military base. So coming up before the light, there is a big Asian store which is called uh, Omart. So if you love Asian food and you would want to market at Omart yeah this or you would want to market for some fresh or frozen um, seafood they have everything in Omart I mean almost everything so some people they still go to Austin or else um, Houston but most of the time this is where um, Filipinos or Asians, Koreans, uh, Chinese probably, yeah, they go here to market some Asian food. So let me go ahead and show that to you while we're here. We are going to turn left right here at the light and I can show Omar to you. <clears throat> I think the most famous one in this area is Omart. It's because a lot of Asian uh, customers come in here for food because they have a restaurant and also, um, yeah, all the Asian goods inside. So this is Omart. So it says food court, Korean and cuisine, Oriental food, gift and hardware. So mostly that's what it is and uh, beside it is Nami, Hibachi and Sushi. So this little area right here, it has big lots as well and also uh, beauty supply. Uh, there's a Thai restaurant across going straight. And I am just gonna go around. So it's 440 Plaza. So basically, this is like the closest plaza to um, the Fort Hood Gate, the military base. 
but the military base of course they have their own things as well inside they have the px where you can go grocery shopping for everything and also restaurants as well so if you don't want to go out yeah you don't have to but like i said the most of the filipinos especially if they're craving for asian food and also um, seafood they go to they go to omart so there's ten heading to the base so this is 190 or this is I-14 now so they had just recently changed it to interstate 14 so this is actually the main gate the Bernie Beck main gate so that's where we're going. So it's Fort Hood Museums, 1st Cavalry Division, 3D Cavalry Regiment. Next right. Okay, so that building right over there, that is the Fort Hood uh, Darnell Hospital. So if you are TRICARE or of course in the military, that's where you go. Unless you're retired and a veteran, so you go to the VA and Temple. So like I said, I am not sure if we are able to film here. Um, I gotta have to hide this probably. They have um, police at the gate, of course. And I don't think I will be able to film. But we'll see, we'll see. But I gotta have to turn this off first. Bye.